<laughs> okay, we are, as part of the project for getting the Bobcat controls to control the, uh, from inside of the cab without all the wires from our friends at Halverston, we've ordered a item from um, Rob over at um, Skid Steer Genius, which will take us from the seven pin connector on the Bobcat over to the 14 uh, connector. Key part about this is it uh, changes the signal from a CAN bus signal over to a standard um, a standard electrical 12 volt um, signal. And for the pleasure of doing that, you get to pay like 1300 bucks. Thank you, Bobcat. <laughs> Um, if I had a different kind of machine, I wouldn't need to uh, need to do this. If I if we were Kubota or Cat or or some other um, some other brand, but um, Bobcat likes to uh, lock things down. So and from um, from Halverston, they they sent this um, this over to us. Um, this connects to the um, to the control system from uh, from Halverson, which I'll show on a different video. Um, and they give you this 14 pin connector here um, that is not, from what the Skid Steer Genius guys and Rob has said, this is not a really great connector because it's not weatherproof and, and whatnot. And so we upgraded to, um, to this connector from Skid Steer Genius. 14 pin again, looks similar, um, but it's gonna be a lot better weather protected. And when you're cutting and messing around with firewood, um, I think you wanna have weather weatherproof stuff. So these are the two different uh, two different connectors. We're gonna be using the, uh, the one from Skid Steer um, Genius, which um, should work uh, much better over the, over the, long, the long term. So the first step of this is getting all of these wires into the proper um, the proper holes over here. Um, Rob from Skid Steer Genius sent over kind of a handy cheat sheet for someone that doesn't know what the hell they're doing, like me. Um, that basically what wire goes into what letter within uh, his connector. So I'm um, gonna get that uh, get that started now. Um, and that's okay. So now the operation begins to start putting these into here. So I don't know if you can see that because I really can't because I'm old and blind, but you should see little um, letters in there. Um, maybe, maybe not. Anyways, um, there's a bunch of letters in there. We've got to match up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of these wires into seven holes on here. And as I said before, um, I've got my cheat sheet here that sort of outlines that. So we're gonna start trying. So supposedly, you can just push these um, push these pins in, and they should just click into place. So I'm doing black into uh, B. You may be able to see the letters inside of there. I can barely see them because my eyes are old and I'm going blind, but. Um, inside of there, there's essentially seven letters that we need to match up with seven different um, wires. So according to what I've read on the internet, I should just be able to push these in and you should hear a click once it's all the way, all the way in. But I'm not really getting that for some reason. Maybe. That that's in there now. Just to, it's almost inaudible, um, inaudible click that happens. So that's our first wire into that. So that's B. So black into um, into. Okay, so we're putting these wires in. I've already got one started here. The uh, black wire into B. I'm not sure if you can see those letters, but we need to get all of the. Um, the colored wires into particular um, holes, letter holes inside of the connector. Um, so based on based on this sheet. 
So, um, B goes into, uh, black goes into B, and blue goes into G, and I need to use this, uh, this light, because I am so blind, and I had this before. got three out of seven in there so black blue purple um, so on to orange and that goes in E now I gotta find E Orange is E. And I just got yellow left to do. And that goes into C. Now we give us a little saliva lubrication here to get it to go in a little tiny bit easier. Maybe not the recommended course of action, but it does make it slide in a little bit easier. Okay, so that's that. So we've got seven, uh, seven all done. Our friends at Skid Steer Genius said to leave out the gray one for now. And we'll just put a little bit of tape over top of that um, to cover it up and then see what happens. I'm not sure, I am not sure, but I do think we're gonna have to have this one um, because that's the one that makes the um, splitter, um, the splitter go up and down. So I don't know how we're gonna do that without. So that's that for now. So those are all in there. Um, and pretty much all that's left to do now is tighten this, uh, tighten this onto uh, onto here. Put the strain relief on, and uh, we should be good to go.